And that beautiful music is from the film Sun Kissed. The song is Water, the Rain, and the Ocean of Time from Louis Goni's album Elements. This is Margaret Prescott, host of Sojourner Truth on Pacifica Radio's KPFK, 90.7 FM in Southern California, 98.7 FM in Santa Barbara, streaming podcast and worldwide on the web at kpfk.org. If you've missed any part of this hour from 10 this morning for 90 days after that, just go to kpfk.org, scroll down to archives, click on Sojourner Truth, you'll be able to hear the show in its entirety. Uh, we are now going to turn our attention on a situation among the Navajo people. The film Sunkissed, by the way, is going to premiere this Saturday at the Regal Theater on West Olympic Boulevard in Los Angeles. The filmmakers who are with me in studio will both b will be at both screenings for a Q&A. The film tells the story of the Nez family on the Navajo reservation as they uncover that a much higher percentage of the Navajo, in contrast to the rest of the population in the United States, has a rare genetic disease that eventually could be traced back to the impact still being felt today of the brutal war of near extermination against the Navajo people beginning in 1862, including and especially the long walk when thousands of Navajo people were forced to walk 500 miles to be placed into what essentially was a concentration camp. And I'd like to welcome uh, the filmmakers of, of Sunkist. Uh, those of you who get to see the film, you'll get to meet them both. And I would uh, first like to welcome Maya Stark, who is the director and producer. Maya, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. And being here in studio, Maya Stark is an accomplished director, editor of fiction and nonfiction films. She was born and raised in Israel. She moved to New York to pursue a career in filmmaking and is a graduate of the School of Visual Art. She's done a number of short films, including Sweet Lonely and Before Chaos, and she's edited several feature narrative and documentary films and television projects for the BBC Sundance Channel and uh, so much more. And there's a lot more we could say about, about Maya, but we also want to welcome Adi. Did Adi. I get that right? You Adi Lavi. Lavi. Yes. yes. Okay, Adi Lavi is an internationally accomplished documentary photographer who's worked with publications such as Newsweek and um, uh, publications in Germany and Italy, and she's been a finalist for a prestigious photography festival showcasing her project Camp Sundown, and uh, she also hails from Israel. Uh, she began her career as a journalist working for various publications, and over the years, shifted towards a photography and she's been in the United States attending Columbia University School of Arts and New York School of Visual Arts and she lives in New York City and Sunkiss is your first directional feature documentary. Yes. So yeah. young to have done all of that. Congratulations to you both. Thank you. Um, and uh, Maya Stark, let's uh, start with you. XP, a rare genetic disorder that makes any exposure to sunlight fatal usually one in a million in the general population. Among right. the Navajo people, uh, we're talking about a much one in 30,000, right. uh, perhaps, and we're even not sure about that. Tell us um, why you, in particular, you were interested in capturing this story. It tells us so much about the Navajo, their culture, their traditions, history, as well as a family dealing with children with disabilities. Maya. Right. So, you know, uh, when Adi first met Yolanda and Dory in the camp called Camp Sundown in upstate New York, um, it's a camp for kids who have XP. Mm -hmm. And they, you know, they told her stories about them and the tug, this tug of war struggle that they're in, you know, uh, between um, Navajo traditional healing ways and Western med medicine. And Adi came back to New York and she told me their story and I thought it was really interesting, but the most interesting part that they said, which really caught our attention, was the fact that they said XP on the reservation, they had heard actually that it might have a connection to their history. Yeah. And that's when we said, you know, this their very intimate story of a, of a, of a Navajo couple, you know, um, has the potential of illuminating 
you know, the grave consequences of, of American colonialist past. And that's, that to us was really the hook, and that's why we started yeah, know, and, the story. Um, I'm really interested in, in this topic. I mean, as a person of, of African descent, we know that today when we look at the low birth weight, for example, among black babies, even among middle class women, mm -hmm. that that has been traced to the horrors that our ancestors you know, suffered during the time of slavery. So it would really make sense that populations who really have been so brutalized and, and practically face genocide that you're still suffering some of these consequences today. Right. Adi, we do want to hear from you, but uh, there are going to be only two lucky people that are going to get a pair of tickets uh, to be able to go uh, to the screening um, that's happening, and the filmmakers will be there this Saturday, um, June 16th, for the world premiere. Um, at 1.40 p.m. in the afternoon, two pair of tickets for lucky listeners who call us at 818-985-5735. you got to call right now. The story of the Navajo, the, the, the long walk, culture, uh, history, uh, taboos, uh, so much in, involved in this film called Sun Kissed. Again, 818 985 Five seven three five. We'd love to thank all of you who are listening to Sojourn Truth, and we like to offer giveaways uh, when we could. And this is a beautifully uh, shot film. It just captures uh, just so much of the emotion and, and the feeling of what this family must be going through, but also you really get a sense of the traditional ways and manners and pacing of the Navajo people, 818-985-5735. If you don't win a pair of tickets, um, you do have an opportunity to go on Saturday, June 16th at 1.40 at the Regal Cine uh, Cinema. The filmmakers will be there. Or Monday, June 18th um, in the evening, also at the Regal um, for two screenings of this film and um, you know it's a must see I saw it and I love this film and uh, Adi um, you I mean you, you know you've studied photography just what you were able to capture and you were both able to capture about this family about the history and the respect for the culture of the Navajo people tell us uh, what was that experience like for you Adi um, well, Dora and Yolanda live in uh, Coyote Canyon in New Mexico, which is just a, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous landscape. Maya and I fell in love with the landscape as much as we <laughs> fell in love with Dora and Yolanda. It's so beautiful there. It's magical. Yeah. And it, every day we got a different present from Mother Earth. If it's a beautiful sunset or, you know, beautiful sky. But it was such a huge contrast to what Dora and Yolanda lived with. They lived in the dark. Their windows were tinted. There were, they were covered. Dory stayed at home for 16 years with his children in the dark. So, wow. you know, it was such a huge contrast, and that's what we tried to portray in in the film. Right. Um, yes, and 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 also uh, back to you, uh, Maya. I mean, the Navajo are very, from what I know, uh, very private, and you know, very careful about how much information, quote-unquote, outsiders get. So you really had amazing access to that community, and it's, it's reflected in the way the film is done. Yeah, we did. I mean, we were very, very fortunate to have um, Dora and Yolanda invite us into their home and basically into their community, and, and they were sort of a, uh, our door into the Navajo community. You know, they took us around, they, they introduced us to their families and their community, and they were really the ones who really championed for, you know, the film and, 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 and this journey that they were on. They, they thought it was so important to actually talk about and raise all these issues that they, were, they, they met with, with through their journey. So I think in that sense, for us, it was, we were so, you know, we felt so privileged to be on this journey with them. And for us, it was so important to really make sure that we we are as respectful as possible to, you know, to the Navajos and, and their Navajo traditional uh, traditions and their and their culture. Yeah, and um, you know, uh, Adi, 
the the long walk, I mean, some people might remember it, you know, something vaguely you learn uh, in uh, history, but just remind um, our listeners a, a bit, you, you do talk about it in the film, and there's a connection with the, what these families are suffering and the long walk. Sadly, we just have about a minute or so, but the horrors of, of, the, long, of the long walk, I mean, you know, you have... He, uh, "Quote unquote American heroes like Kit Carson, I think, and and right. the U.S. military it was brutal. Adi, it was in in 1864. Uh, the American government gathered a lot of the Navajos and removed them from their land. And for five years, they were incarcerated in a concentration camp. And you know, one of the historians that's that we talked to in the film, Harry Myers, um, he he kept saying they were different people when they were let go from the Bosque Redondo." They they were they were traumatized and and you till this day you see these effects uh, on on the Navajo people and this is what the film is is about it's about the long lasting effects of American colonialism on right. the Navajo community and people don't even want to talk about it is so very painful well Maya Stark and Adi Lavi thank you so very much for joining us in thank studio you. thank you for having us and I'm I'm sure a lot of people listening will want to. Uh, get this really important historical information and just the love and care of this of the Nez family, um, Yolanda and uh, um, Dory. Dory, was just incredible. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank we you. also want to remind our audience that this weekend there's a celebration happening for Juneteenth in Lamert Park on June 16th and 17th from 10 to uh, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Juneteenth. We'll be doing a special show on Juneteenth uh, this coming Tuesday. I'd like to thank the entire Sojourner Truth team, um, engineer Teddy Robinson, uh, Sammy Mangello, Eric Doyle, Teresa McGee, Azim Khan, assistant producer Sarah Shakur. Thank the Global Justice Ecology Project. You can follow us on Twitter at Social Radio. Become our Facebook friend and like us for heaven's sake. Stay tuned for Uprising. This is Margaret Prescott and go to the Pacifica Radio Archives if you'd like a copy of today's show. Thank you for joining us. And